Okay, I'm going to be unveiling my new team now. Here it is. Brad, Terry, Birdie, and Shocklord. So a lot of things went into my consideration and honestly it was kind of difficult. Terry and Birdie were permanently on the team from the beginning. There was no way they were getting off. But the last slot, I considered a lot of different people. Farty, because I really like that truck slam attack, how it makes people fall down and disables them for a turn. Uh, who else? Nern, surprisingly. Because Nern has an ability, or two abilities actually, that heals people's TP and SP. So I thought that Nern would be a great supplement to both Birdie and Terry. But he was really low level and I didn't want to spend all that time to try to level him up. And we have Shocklord here. Shocklord, between Farty and Shocklord, I actually think if they were the same level, Farty might be more useful because his attack disables people, but Shocklord just does a lot of damage but doesn't disable the opponent. But the one good thing about Shocklord is that I'm lazy and I don't have to think with him. I just have to use that one attack. So yeah, here we are for now. It's still subject to changes if we meet more people down the line, if Shocklord is not working out, so on and so forth. I'm aware that it's not really a fair tryout just because the earlier we meet someone, the lower level they'll be and you know, the less likely I'll want to have them because I'll have to level them up first. And the different equipment, the team synergy, there's too many factors to take into consideration to be honest. But like I said, we're gonna roll with this for now. One thing that I'm concerned about with Shocklord is he looked pretty good during the tryouts because we were doing 4 versus 4. But if we get to the final boss, see if the final boss is just one enemy, then Shocklord becomes really not useful, especially if he misses all the time. But okay, enough rambling, let's move on for now. I got a hint last time as to how to clear the garbage island entrance thingy, so I'm gonna go see if I can figure that out. Last time- oh, wait. Let me give him the garbage map. It smells- yes, yes. Right. So last time I tried using a perfume, but it didn't work because that's not how perfumes work, and someone left a comment saying that a perfume would be the opposite of what I would be trying to do to get into Garbage Island. And it makes sense because, you know, you're supposed to be stinky when you're there. So hopefully, hopefully we have some sort of stinky items. Okay, so do we have any sort of smelly items? We have perfume, but that's not really smelly. Rations, which we have not even used once. Oh my god. Most of the items we have, I haven't even touched them because they just don't come intuitively to me using items. Let's see, weapons. Uh, no. No. You know what though? RT? RT is super smelly, right? Does he have items that makes him that make him smelly? Where's RT? RT? Duffel bag. Greasy poncho. Stench? Oh, stench. Hey, if we get that stench from him. If we make Brad. Uh yeah. If we give it to Brad, will that work? Let's try it out. You like my tag team title belt? I gave it to Terry and Brad. Hey friend! Haven't seen you before. You look cool. Please come in. It worked! Okay! And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should give the tag team title to Brad and Shocklord, because kind of a dick move to give it to Terry. Uh, okay, well, let me optimize that. Yeah, Terry, maybe, maybe you should give that back. <laughs> Uh, you can use diary entries. Shock Lord. There you go. Got a nice belt back for you. Terry, do you want the jeans? Okay. Actually, can we get some items off the previous members that we're not using right now? Because that seems to be a better use of resources. Who do we use last? Mad Dog? Can we get items from Mad Dog? Oh, the Lucky Feather. Let's see. Nope. Okay, well, I guess Terry's gonna roll with the denim jeans for now. <laughs> Let's move on then. Oh, cart race. Wanna sign up for a cart race? It's 10 mags. Cart race? It's the most exciting thing ever. It's a two-man race to the finish line. You really should try. It's only 10 mags. Okay, that sounds fun. Let me save first though. Oh my god. Hello? 
I'm the greatest kart racer of all time. You'll never be able to face me. Well, we'll see about that. Kart racing, huh? I've been riding on a cart all day long. Maybe I can do this. Saddle up! Oh, a shopping cart. Ready? Wait, okay. I'm pressing, I'm pressing really hard. That guy's not even moving. What? What am I doing that's actually... Okay, I have to press it when Brad is not moving, I think. Like, the amount of times you hear that sound is how many times I've pressed the keyboard. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> not impressed. Oh, yeah? Let's try that again. Come on, someone else race me. Mm-hmm. Doing so good right now. Come on. Boom. Whatever. He's all right. Oh, yeah, buddy. Why don't you face me? Yep. Oh, this guy's winning a little bit. Never mind. We can do this. By the time we get to that guy, we're gonna be so tired. Yeah! Come back and face me! I will, I will, but let me save first just in case anything strange happens. Oh. Okay, come on, man. Face me. You and me, buddy. Holy shit. Not even looking at the screen, I'm squinting because I'm pressing so hard. We can do it. We can do it. You're garbage! You're garbage! I got you! Wow! You really are good! You wanna join me? Join me in my quest? I'm sorry you missed the tryouts. <laughs> you won! I've worked my whole life to be the best kart racer. Well, technically, I was an accountant before all this. But that's not important. <laughs> I'm lost now, because you're an asshole. Cheer him up. Well, maybe I can teach you some of my card tricks. Hang out with me and my crew. Alright, but just remember, I will become stronger. I will surpass you, and I will beat you. I don't need friends, only opponents. Fly Minetti has joined your party. I am really sorry you missed the tryouts. <laughs> what, are, what are you like, though? I, I am curious. Skills. Fly? Oh, he's cool. He's cool. Cart master. Puke! Induces random effects. Cart slam. Peel out hard. Cart slam to peel out hard. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I might want to try out what that is. I wonder if that's a awful attack. Because that would be pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Alright. Wait, can I give that whatever he just took off to Terry. Nope. Alright. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, new party member already.
Sometimes, like, there's so much garbage around here, I can't even tell where the people are. Oh, oh, there's a guy hidden here. <laughs> well, okay. Good for me for noticing, but it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> Sometimes, it's okay to be sensitive. Oh, okay. Very silent bunch of people here. I feel like I need to slow down to make sure there's nobody hi- Oh, jeez! What? 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 What the hell? Lunatic fridge! Okay! Well, time to try out our new team composition. Birdie needs to take a swig first, though. See, everything in this team depends on Birdie. So, Birdie, my man, you gotta stay alive. <sighs> God damn it, Shock Lord. Brad is crying! Brad... Heads... Oh! Home run head slide! Huh. How's that different from head slide? Probably this one is better, right? Terry... I don't want to waste Terry's SP. Wait! Ah! Ah! Ah, okay. Okay. I didn't even choose a fire move for Brad. Oh my god, Shock Lord. Okay, at least he's fallen. So Brad, all you gotta do, is a fireball. Terry! Hot dance! Come on, please, Shock Lord. Shock Lord really doesn't look too useful when it's against one enemy. Oh! There you go. Nine mags. Huh. I don't even know which fridge that was. Oh my god. What? Another fridge. Oh my... Jeez. Okay, okay. Fireball. Hot dance. Gasoline. Big shock. I'm pretty sure that guy was blind to begin with already. Whoa! Nice, Terry. Nice critical hit. All right, nothing around here. What? Oh my god, where are these people coming from? I don't even see them on the screen at all. Come on. What? I made Birdie fall down. Oh my god. Oh, Birdie. See, if anything happens to Birdie, we don't have the oil. Everything just becomes normally effective, not super effective. Which is okay. But I guess that's why we have Shock Lord, except he's not too reliable. I swear to God, if you don't make good use of your chance, I'm still... I'm gonna kick you out later. Alright. No more fridges, please. Oh my god! Whoa, this one's- okay, well, it's not a fridge, I can't- I can't say anything about that. Lunatic trash! Okay, okay... We still have to figure out a solution for Terry's SP problem. Like, if we see a shop that sells SP stuff, we need to buy up that shit. We need to buy everything up. What?! Oh my god, lunatic box! Okay... I don't think we can see them on the map, right? They're just random encounters here, I guess. Okay... Let's get out of this place. It's kind of easy to fall off and just die. Oh my god! No! Thank you! <gasps> Is there a save point here? There must be- Oh, what's that guy doing? 
Hey man, don't don't hurt yourself. Why am I wondering? Ah, well he's gonna hurt me now. Tom Brightside Miller. Okay, well. Ooh, that music seems pretty ominous. Maybe I should take this more seriously. Okay, hot dance right away then. Gasoline. Whoa! Okay. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Okay, it's a it's a building. Oh, we got a save point here. What? Whatever. Customer? Haven't had a customer in years. I bought this bar from some city slicker. What a terrible investment. I've been living off of trash and seawater for quite some time. I want to leave, but I always get lost in all the trash. And on top of that, I'm up to my eyeballs in porno mag debt. I suppose this is my lot in my life. <sighs> Do some nice things for him. What? You'll pay all two magazines? Wow, you're screwed. <laughs> oh joy! I'm finally free of this debt. Now I can o now I only have seven other people to pay off. My boy, I owe it all to you. Ollie Nichols. And we also have a gang changing thing here. Okay. I want to see his stats. Oops, that's his equipment. Okay, skills. Ollie. Oh, he's in depression or something. That's the symbol for depression, right? Dancing serpent. Unload a clip into the crowd. Make the enemy scared and run. Bullet saw. Cut through your opponent with a stream of bullets. Bleeding. Weird power. Toss strange smelling powder at your opponent. Dancing dragon. Unload a clip into the crowd. Hmm. What is this, like, crouching tiger? Hidden, hidden tiger, crouching dragon. Crap going on. Anything else beyond here? Haha, <laughs> Leah, like hell I'm using this. Not on some random garbage island I'm not. <laughs> okay, that seems to be it then. Not much here. Alright. I guess our next step is to face that mutant guy. Let's use some equipment. We never use any of our equipment. <laughs> um, yeah, squirrel jerky. Here you go, Brad. Anything else? Okay, maybe for that kind of fight, maybe I want to start with some TP. So give some to Birdie. Oh, can I only use that in battle? Hmm. Doesn't seem like I could use it. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this guy probably has some sort of permanent death attack too, so let's be careful. Let's be careful. To be honest though, he seems like he's pretty happy on his own. Not really doing anything. Do we really have to disturb him? Yes, we do. Georgie! Hmm. Actually, I'm not gonna use Brad to do a fire attack. I'm gonna make him make that guy fall down first, because I don't feel comfortable with that guy possibly attacking us. So I'm gonna be relying on Terry for fire instead this time. Make him fall, make him fall! Oh, he didn't fall! Ew, he licks me! Okay, Brad, please make him fall, because I'm not... Ah! I don't know about this guy. Painful! Ah, uh, well, if we do a fire attack, we can get rid of him really quick, too. That's another option. Jeez, this guy's just doing strange things all over. Yeah, Terry's SP runs down, runs out so quickly. Oh, okay. That worked. Alright. Birdie level 25. Shocklord level 20. Three tablets. Hmm. He must have had more than three to begin with then, huh? Hmm. Let's see here. It's a little bit scary having Birdie be the one doing the oil and being the healer, because that's a lot of jobs for one person. 
if so if we come across somebody who has healing powers, that would be really great. But I think we're done with the garbage island for now. I think we've explored everything, right? So time to go back. And I guess we're gonna go head on to that new area after the championship. Okay, so how are we doing right now? Terry is level 24. He turns into Gyarados, Terry Dose at 25, right? Okay, I'm gonna do this Dobian tumble, this Dobian rumble until that happens, and then we're gonna do the Eternal Championship. I am the Lord of Hints, level 25. The hottest dance. I've been waiting for you. This better be good. Okay, so I'm gonna try the Eternal Championship now. Not before we save and rest up though. Alright. Okay. I'm looking forward to what this can do. Also, I'm thinking about like, is there any way to... Is there any way for Birdie? To have more TP to begin with. For the last few rounds, all I've been doing is making him drink and he hasn't been attacking. And it seems to carry over a little bit, but not completely. So we'll see how that goes. Eternal Championship! By the way, you lose in this match type and it's game over. Losing your push in wrestling is worse than losing your life. Let's do this. Today, Brad Armstrong, the fresh young face from Olathe, takes on... Biscuits and gravy! Roar! Rock and roll will never die! Oh, this is a singles match, isn't it? Ah, okay. Well, we don't get to see Terry and the hottest dance yet. But it's okay. We can we can do something about this. We'll show off our own skills. Ah, oh, Brad's skill making him fall is just so nice, so nice. Boom! Oh, <laughs> level up! 28. Looks like we have a winner! Mrs. Armstrong's baby boy! This guy's getting hot, folks! Keep an eye on him! Rah! Good match, Jack! Okay. Another one. We just keep doing this. Today, Brad Armstrong takes on... For an objection! I am the beast from the east! Huh. So Olathe is, is really multicultural, isn't it? Whoa, 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 he's really fast. Uh, fall down! Yes! Holy crap, this fall down thing is so useful. Even without the fire attacks. Oh my god. Boom! Don't even have to heal. Looks like we have a winner, Mrs. Armstrong's baby boy. Can anyone stop this guy? Joy withdrawal, apparently. <laughs> Let's go unwithdraw ourselves. All right, we're looking good. Brad Armstrong is climbing the ladder. He's got his eyes on the title, but Gary the Hot Soup wants to end his life. Hey, Buster. I'll show you what EWC is really about. I may have been spoiled for this already because we saw this guy in the dystopian rumble earlier. And, uh, well, let's just see what happens. That's what I thought. <laughs> Looks like we have a winner! Mrs. Armstrong's baby boy, he is unstoppable! Wow, Buster, respect. Yeah, earlier I saw him in the rumble and he was the first one to die in one attack. So, a little bit spoiled there. Brad Armstrong really wants that belt! Who can stop this man? I can. Cinder Sluggin! Taste my block! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I saw you before earlier too. Cinder block slugin. Alright, will you be... Will you even still be standing after my home run head slide? No. You're done. You're mine. Holy 
Holy smokes, folks! Who is this masked man? What's he doing? Cheating? That just ain't right! Think of his damn family! Good God Almighty! Ring the damn bell! End this match! What an ass! What? He didn't even get me. He missed that time. But God! The masked man has vanished! Who was that man? What were his motives? Who knows? Due to this interference, Cinder Sluggin loses! Armstrong wins! That son of a bitch cost me the damn match! <laughs> I thought that guy was trying to help him. What happened there? Huh. We've seen so many guys in the dystopian rumble, I have no idea if we even saw that guy before. Can anyone end this man's streak? Maybe. Man's worst friend can! Spoilers, no he can't. We've seen this guy earlier before too. Beastborn's distant cousin. He <laughs> he just got up and I made him fall down right away. Oh my god, Brad is so OP right now. Done! None of them can even touch me. Looks like we have a winner! He's so close to tasting gold! Am I now? Now, Brad will be taking on a very strong man today. A man so... not so fast! I want you! But why? Why, masked man? Because... It's me, Armstrong! Da! Son of a bitch! It's me! It was me all along! Wonder Wizard! You bought it! You all bought it! Even my immediate family bought it! That explains it! I, uh... I'm very sorry to say, but I completely forgot who you were before you announced your name. And even then, I just vaguely remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> Brad has won. Wizard is dead. But that was not today's scheduled match. Brad still has to face the great Zaladin. It ends now, Braddy baby. All right. Well, so far nobody has been able to withstand my combination of attacks, so good luck, buddy. The giant has fallen. Yet again. <laughs> that combination is just too deadly. Wow! Brad is on fire! He can't be stopped! Okay. What does that mean for me? Brad. You've grown very much. You're one match away from the title, but you can't win. This can be the greatest booking ever. You two have to feud forever. You have to lose the title match. It's best for business. If you win, the title belt is yours. We can't have that. I'll kick you out of the company forever. You ready for the fate deciding match? No, no, I will heal. I will respect the fact that this is supposed to be something insane. So I'm gonna heal and save up just in case. Alright, I'm ready. I am ready and I will beat him. This is it, folks! The final match for the Eternal Title Belt! Say hello to Death Queen! Whoa! The Dead Man Rises! Alright! Okay, well, Death Queen, will you be able to do something about my deadliness here? Oh, he did not fall down. That's a first. Oh, maybe he's not susceptible to falling down because he's still not falling down. 
There we go. Um, I actually don't know which one does more damage. Oh, but he got back up. Yes. Done. Sorry, bad for business, huh? Brad has won. The title is his. Eternal title belt. He's probably really mad. Get out. You've ruined wrestling. <laughs> Gee, sorry. Well, we got that done. So I think, I think, now we can go back to that animal guy in the cave. And then move on. After that, we can move on to plot advancement. Yeah. Let's see here. Hello. Harvey. He's got the strap. Yes, the belt. Harvey! Are you sure? Okay, Harvey. Sonny Black Backlewitz joined you. Question mark. Powerful clothesline guy. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Schizo Wrestler. Flail? Discharge of all Sonny's emotions. Lights out. Stunning clothesline. Bear hug. Paralyzing squeeze. Flying chest slam. Scary clothesline. Huh, so lots of attacks that stun the enemy. Stunning, scaring them, paralyzing them. Pretty interesting. Could be a good guy. So we're gonna be heading to this gray area now. I don't know if it's because it looks gray, but it feels like it's not as hot here. Like, Olathe has been a desert the whole time. Oh god. And this part just looks significantly cooler. Temperature-wise. Hello? Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, God! Saw that coming, still had to suffer it. Did you have a nice reunion? I thought you'd want to see your pals. Aw, oh, Buzzle put them there! So I let them live for you. That reminds me. Do you know this girl? I do. All too well. I never wanted her here. It's no place for a girl. But I guess she can be a useful tool. Maybe now I can show you what it feels like. What do you want? That's nice. You're learning. Shut the fuck up. Just tell me what you want. Bradley! I'm shocked. You really are changing. But you still haven't suffered enough. You used to be so joyful. These people are holding you back. You're better off alone. I want them all dead. Or... Her nipple. I'll cut it off. That's fair, right? She has two after all. It's not a tough choice. Oh! This is so fucked up! What the fuck is this? Three people for a nipple? A little girl's nipple, what the fuck? You know what? I know it's gonna be like... I don't think we can kill him still. We are significantly stronger since the last time we met him. But... I still gotta try! I gotta try! I can't not try! Brad. That was really dumb. <sighs> if I can trip him up. If I can trip him up. The hottest dance? I don't even think this will work. What is this? This power? Look, the, the music has such a sense of finality. It feels so hopeless. I don't think... I don't think... Buzzo wrecks you. <sighs> Don't do it. Hey, it's exact same lines. Don't do that again. It's a waste of our time together. Now choose. <clears throat> right off the bat, I think 
three people's lives are worth more than one nipple. But, oh my god. Buddy is gonna hate us for life. And you know what? We gathered all these people here today because we want to look for Buddy. We want to find her and save her and make sure she's okay and safe and happy. But on the journey, we're forced to choose to cut off her nipple? It's true that this gang was formed to save Buddy, but I love all my gang members. I can't... I can't justify killing them for something like this. It's so twisted. This is such a twisted choice. Much more twisted than if he said, I will kill Buddy or those three people. Like, no, he's just gonna take the nipple. Like, why? Oh, he's so twisted. I'm really sorry, Buddy. I hope that you can understand. I hope that you can understand that if you were in the same situation and someone asked you to cut off my nipple versus killing Uncle Rick and Uncle Sticky, I think you would cut off my nipple too, so... Oh. Well, I don't hope that, but I mean... I hope putting it in a situation like that can help you understand why I'm making the choices I'm making. And she's right there, right? She's listening to all this. So... Ah, uh, buddy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Not bad. <sighs> wow. Tough kid. Here, you keep it. She didn't even cry. As a reminder of your accomplishments. <sighs> this, this guy is one sick fuck. Now then, we should be going. Bye, friend. I gotta go back and heal first.